The legacy of that shield is complicated. Much of the new Marvel series revolves around the character Falcon wrestling with whether to become the next Captain America after the captain gave him his shield in the final moments of Avengers Endgame. It feels like it belongs to someone else. For the Canadian director, it was a way to look at how heroes are changing. In, in amongst the conversation of race and tolerance was to look at what is the new hero, because is that hero relevant anymore? In this superhero series, the real battle is something a lot of Americans can relate to. There's a fight out there, and then there's a fight here. And bro, you have taken them both on. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, episode four. Julian Green is a TikTok film reviewer with 1.8 million followers. He was surprised with how the series injected a new sense of the black experience into the superhero genre. To see Sam deal directly with being gaslighted by the the U.S. government, hey, you, you did the right thing giving up the shield. And then to see him in the next episode get racially profiled by the police, and you could just tell there was something deeper going on with his character. But when Green applauded the show's treatment of race, some fans pushed back. Y'all didn't even want to hear the conversation. Y'all didn't even want to have it. It's actually been a tough five weeks. I, I still love the fandom. It was just, uh, it just really exposed a lot of uh, toxicity that, that was part of the fandom. And I believe, and I, uh, there was also a huge, uh, amount of support from the community as well. For her part, director Kari Skogland is happy fans are being challenged. Um, I can't solve racism, but I can certainly, uh, I can certainly open the door to a different way of thinking. And she's not the only one opening doors. Who are you? This week saw another barrier smashed with the launch of the trailer to Shang-Chi, the first Marvel movie led by Asian superhero starring Canadian Simu Liu. My reaction to, to the trailer, like, I was crying. <laughs> Vong Sho is a gay Asian comedian who grew up with comics. To see him, a fellow Asian Canadian, up on screen in what's going to be one of the biggest movies in the entire world for the year is just unfathomable. And coming next fall with The Eternals, Marvel movies will address another blind spot, the lack of LGBTQ characters. We shared a report with Sho that The Eternals will feature gay heroes kissing. Honestly, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit shocked, um, but now that I know this, I'm probably going to bring my boyfriend and when they kiss, we're going to we're going to kiss. I'm going to bring all the gays um, and we're going to have this shared kiss moment at the theater. I am cool. With new Marvel TV shows and films on the way focused on a Muslim hero, a female Hulk, Thor and more, it's a welcome burst of inclusion for a changing world. People need something to get behind. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.